Hello and welcome. Prominent among the non-political names to have blended seamlessly into the political discourse this election season has been that of the Ahmedabad-based businessman Gautam Adani. His proximity to the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi has seen his stock rise and the latter receiving a barrage of criticism. How much of it is believable? How much of it is mere political mudslinging? And what is it that lies beyond the two is the real question. Headlines Today brings you this in-depth ground investigation from Kutch, a region ravaged by the earthquake at the start of this century, a region which now stands as a testimony to Adani's prosperity. Adani ji goes to a toffee and says, brother, take one rupee, they get one meter, two toffee, two meter, three toffee, three meter, five toffee, five meter, a thousand toffee, a thousand meter. Ye lo di vachara ha sabre halya khaya bacha baar Ye kachar kach dharti johi ha thai rayo vachar Ye lo di vachara ha sabre halya Kach, one of the largest districts in the country Though a part of Gujarat, it has retained its own identity Thanks to its unique culture, language and topography It was at 8.46 a.m. on the 26th day of January of 2001 that the development of the people and the region were both brought to a grinding halt by the massive earthquake, the shockwaves of which travelled over 700 kilometres. It was in this adversity that the businessman in Gautam Adani sensed an opportunity and decided to take the plunge. Thirteen years later, many claim that development has come this way, with the region hosting what is possibly India's biggest port and special economic zone. It is this piece of real estate located in the westernmost corner of the state of Gujarat that lies at the centre of the raging controversy. Measuring over 6,400 hectares, it houses the Mundra port, the SEZ, allied power units and other industries. It's a region that has witnessed what can only be called as trailblazing growth. With the reference of the Toffee model, the spotlight is back on the cheap land rates in the post-earthquake era. But what is not being spoken about is what happened after that and the process that was followed. The Gujarat Chief Minister has been firmly advocating how his has been the only government which has not allocated land at throwaway prices and has followed the healthiest model of acquisition as is seen in this presentation. PowerPoint presentations, no matter how exhaustive, can seldom tell the entire story and as they say, the devil often lies in going after the details. On examining the circle rate, we found that in the year 2005 when the land was made available, the average price was Rs 8.32 per square meter. However, when these rates went for revision, that figure soared by 90 times to reach Rs 761.4 per square meter. While this phenomenon, which we are informed, follows sustained development in a particular region, is bound to improve the valuation of real estate one may be occupying, the method used in establishing this is suspect. Those in the know say the process at best is arbitrary with nil accountability of those involved in it. When we met those in charge of this exercise, this was the explanation we got.
Shashikan Thakkar, a former bureaucrat, is presently practicing as an advocate. This is what he had to say about the procedure which is deployed towards fixing of circle rates. Completely arbitrary. Uh, formula is so that what is the average sale in the what is the average sale price that they were taking into consideration but the actual deciding of the uh, prices were never according to the sex. And in some cases Gujarat High Court has also uh, passed these strictures and said that the collector cannot have the uh, uh, price from heaven and sky. Modi's claims of good governance further torn to shreds by his detractors. This man claims to have been occupying, cultivating and in the process of owning 20 acres of land in the Drab village of the Mundra Taluka says he was beaten up before being thrown out by men from the Adani group. We're in the port town of Mundra. On my left is the border wall of this controversial special economic zone. My camera person Ravi Kanth is now showing you the actual expanse of the area. I'm now joined by a person who claims to be belonging from this place, who claims to have had a land here right adjacent to this wall. I am watching the wall of the wall. जो अभी अदानी वालों ने उसके ऊपर बहुत मुझे मैं यहाँ दो साल पहले यहाँ पे मैं खेती करके अपने बच्चों का गुजरान चलाता था लेकिन दो साल पहले यहाँ पर 25 से कुछ गाड़ियों का काफला आया था और वो मार के मेरे इधर पूरे रूम थे दो एक पानी का टांका था वो पूरा तोड़ दिया तो फिर मैं गया मुंद्रा पुलिस स्टेशन वहाँ मेरा अर्जी लिया एफ आई आर तो दर्ज हुआ नहीं इन लोगों के ऊपर फिर मैं यहाँ से सीधा उस उन लोगों का जो जवाब लिखवाया था पुलिस स्टेशन में उसी आधार के ऊपर हाई कोर्ट को वो दिया मैंने तो हाई कोर्ट ने आदेश निकाला कि इन लोगों के खिलाफ एफ आई आर दर्ज आज तक अभी भी उन लोगों के किसी ने पकड़ा नहीं है अरेस्ट नहीं किया है वो लोग अभी तक अरेस्ट नहीं हुए When we visited the Mundra police station, this was the response that we got. Anticipatory bail. So why are we not even uh, putting them behind bars? I think there's a lot of evidence. I think they're saying their statements that they were... No, there's a lot of evidence that they were... No, there's a lot of evidence that they were... No, there's a lot of evidence that they were... No, there's a lot of evidence that they were... No, there's a lot of evidence that they were... No, there's a lot of evidence that they were... ये वो तो घनु बुद्धू था कि हमने तब आ के हमने भी कहा थे हमने भी। But still can the Adani people go and evict him like this? जी ही कह चुके हमने मारी बीड़ी ने बगाड़ी देखे थे। इतना मटेरियल फरियाद दाखल करी थी ना आपने? ये ना मटेरियल फरियाद दाखल करी। ये बात यहाँ पे लेता ना था originally क्योंकि court है बसी intervene करो। नहीं I mean why did we not entertain him? That's all. एंटरटेन और सुनना सी समझ तो एंटरटेन वाले कोई ना मनोरंजन करो क्या ना सांभर वायु भी बात ही एक बाइटर अभी तो ना सर वो काम पति ने सर थैंक यू जम्मा जी कम एंड मीट यू लेटर फ्रॉम मुंद्रा वी डिसाइडेड टू मूव ऑन टू दी अदर पेरिफेरल एरियाज ऑफ दिस जायन प्रोजेक्ट to see and understand the kind of impact that it was having on the lives of those residing in the nearby areas. This is the outer periphery of the Badreshwar village where members of the fishing community reside in abysmal conditions as is evident. We are in the Kutch region. Badreshwar village is where we are standing right now. And uh, I'll just request my camera person Ravi Khan to show you the entire area where we are. This is a village as you are seeing. It's a village which is built on a skeleton 
There is no supply of electricity, there is no supply of drinking water. In fact, the road that we use to travel to this village also cannot be actually certified as a road. It was more of a sand track that we used to uh, drive up to this point. Uh, this is the coastline. Most people here are fishermen. And what they tell us is in stark contrast to what is otherwise spoken about Gujarat as being a developed state. I just explained to you and that is what the people out here told us that there is no electricity that they have. They have no drinking water. Facilities like uh, electricity, education, primary health care centers are all too far-fetched for them to even think of. This is the situation and a lot of it has to do with the fact that the villagers claim that they used to reside a little north from this point. But after the Adani group came up with their port, with their SEZ, they've been constantly on the move without getting any support, any assurance or any facility in fact from the side of the Gujarat state government. These villagers claim they've been displaced over and over again ever since Adani set up his plant. Asked if they've been given any aid in lieu of that and the answer is in the negative. Such a situation exists despite this very clear direction from the government of India to the project proponents way back in 2006. What are you seeing here? Adani came here. 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 फिशिंग में ज़्यादा था तो मजी मजली भी नज़िक में मिलती थी और ज़्यादा मिलती थी अब बीस टका बक्कत बीस टका है मजली ख़त्म हो गया मतलब मजली ख़त्म हो रही है वो हो जाएगी और उसके बाद में मछुआरे भी ख़त्म हो जाएंगे सरकार ने कुछ अब तक कुछ मैं नहीं देखता वो कुछ किया अच्छा यहाँ पानी � मुझे परेशान कर रहे हैं यहाँ से भागो वहाँ बैठो वहाँ से भागो वहाँ बैठो मैं उसको भूल चुका था सर ये मत करो हमसे ये खेल मत खेलो हमारी भी रोजी है मैं नहीं बोलता वो हमारे देश में कोई उद्योग उद्योगपति आया और विकास न बने विकास ही करो लेकिन विनाश को देखो कितना विनाश हो हमारा हो रहा है आरोग्य पानी बिजली वो रहने के लिए कोई स्तर नहीं है हमारा किनारे पे वो बना दो आपके मुख्यमंत्री कहते हैं कि इतना विकास हुआ है घर घर पानी है घर घर बिजली है ना आप देख चुके हैं सर कितना पानी है पानी समुद्र से आता है वो ऊपर से नहीं आता पीने का पानी नहीं आता और डूबने का पानी आता है Closely linked to the issue of fishermen is the issue of environment and here too there are more questions that the people are asking Bharat Patel is an activist who has been espousing the cause of the fishermen and the fragile ecology around the Kutch coast for a while now. अभी existing port है वहीं पे बैठते थे वो displaced हुए थे और वो अलग-अलग बंदरों पे चले गए वहीं से तो उसके लिए कोई compensation है वो कुछ हुआ नहीं है और SCZ के बाद भी काफी सारी वसा है तो मतलब जा रही थी मछुआरे government record में नहीं होते हैं और उसकी वजह से कोई भी industries आती है और वहीं से displaced की जाती है तो उसका रिहेबिलेशन का सवाल ही नहीं आता हम लोगों ने करीबन 2007 से एप्लीकेशंस फाइल करना शुरू किया था क्योंकि जो मैंग्रो डिस्ट्रक्शन और सेंडियन जो डिस्ट्रक्शन हो रहा था मैंग्रो कट रहे थे तो वो सब इश्यू को लेके पर उसके बाद कुछ नहीं हुआ और 2012 में सुनीता बेन सुनीता नारायण की कमेटी बनी और उसके बाद उसने पूरा इंस्पेक्शन किया और उसमें से क्लियर कट निकल के आया कि काफी सारा वायोलेशन किया है एसीजेड ने कोई कंपेंसेशन किसी को मिला नहीं है उसके बाद नहीं कुछ नहीं मूविंग फर्दर अलोंग द पेरिफेरी वी रीच द विल one of the advantages as claimed by the proponents of this project is that no agricultural fertile land was handed over. They say that not a single village was displaced. This is because all the land which was handed over to the industrial house was either a wasteland owned by the government or grazing land. We're now in the village of Navinar and we let the people of Navinar tell you because they have lost their grazing land out here. Let them tell us just what has been their experience with this project which is now standing in their neighborhood. This village lost nearly 1000 acres of its grazing land when the plant was being set up. This is what they say about how it happened. सिर्फ हमारी नहीं हमारे मुंद्रा तालुका के 15 गांवों की जमीन जो है पूरी की पूरी अदानी को दे दी गई 
तो हमें तो कुछ पता ही ना था न तो कोई पब्लिक हेयरिंग की गई और न तो ग्राम सभा के कुछ ठहराव लिए गए किसी को कुछ पता न चला और कलेक्टर ने ऑर्डर कर दिया जब इन लोगों ने बाउंड्री होल बनाना चालू किया तभी हमें पता चला कि ये लैंड तो हमारी है ही नहीं तभी फिर हमने कागज निकाले तो पता चला ये तो अदानी के नाम पे बोलती है टुडे दे क्लेम टू हैव नो ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सोर्स लेफ्ट इन देयर विलेज एज द ग्राउंड वाटर हैज बिकम अनफिट फॉर कंजम्पशन द ओनली रिकोर्स इज अ पाइपलाइन रिसेंटली बिल्ट व्हिच फेचेस देम पोर्टेबल वाटर फ्रॉम 15 किलोमीटर अवे 5-6 साल काम चालू हुआ उसमें सब बोर का पानी खारा हो गया पहले 100 150 फुट था अभी 300 फुट पे पानी हो गया अभी ये जरा समझाइए कि यहां पे आप बोल रहे हैं कि अडानी के आने से वो खारा पानी आपको मिल रहा है तो क्यों मिल रहा है और उससे उससे क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है आप लोगों को दरिया दरिया किनारे से जो चैनल लाया है पावर प्लांट के लिए वो पूरा चैनल के वजह से उसका रसंग आ रहा है ऊपर तो ऊपर का पानी जो है पूरा खारा हो जाता है पहले तो यहाँ बीस पच्चीस फुट पे पानी था आठ साल पहले यादानी आने से ही पानी कम होते जाता है अ फैक्ट फाइंडिंग टीम सेंट बाय द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट टू वाज स्केडिंग इन इट्स इंडिक्टमेंट ऑफ द मैनर इन व्हिच अडानी हैज बीन एबल टू एक्सरसाइज हिज विल बाय पासिंग ऑल द एस्टैब्लिश्ड नॉर्म्स बट इट इजंट एज इफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वाज ब्लाइंड ऑल अलोंग इन फैक्ट डॉक्यूमेंट्स एक्सेस बाय हेडलाइंस टुडे गो टू शो दैट ऑब्जेक्शंस वर इंडीड टेकन एंड इवन पॉइंटेड आउट In an order which was brought out in June 2012 from this very office, questions were raised by the authorities over issues like non-utilization of land in the SEZ in its stipulated time frame as well as not sharing details of employment with the officials concerned. However, proceedings were withdrawn when a retrospective counter-argument was provided. In another order of the collector dated 9606 it was revealed that the land taken from the government for storage and go down facility by Adani was sought to be transferred to another firm Adani Wilma for building an oil refinery In the meanwhile though Adani had secured a loan of rupees 492 crores against the land which he leased from the government for rupees 70 lakh and also got the government to reduce the per square meter rate from rupees 25 to 21 Those in the know have denounced these actions questioning the resolve of the Gujarat government in protecting people like Gautam Adani and throwing the rule book at the commoners In Rapar taluka there is a village Gavripar and the two farmers who had only 2 or 2 3 acres of land with them they had come to me uh, because their land was forfeited to government on the basis that they had sold this land even though it was a new tenure land and with my argument i uh, attached a order of the collector himself uh, regularizing 60 acres of land of adani company uh with 5 rupees extra premium in that order it was mentioned that they had uh, taken a loan from the banks and that amounted to 492 crores mm -hmm. i wonder how these banks have given the 492 crores of uh, uh, loan to uh, on the basis of the land which uh, actually amounted to 70 lakhs mm. that is one point the second point that how the government gave this land in 70 lakhs when the uh, value according to the bank was for 92 crores when you are giving adani such uh, such type of leniency why you are denying a small leniency towards the small farmers who have got two or three acres of land with them towards seeking a response to all of this we went to the collector's office and sought an appointment do we have any complaints in the recent time do we have any complaints take it ना 
In the year 2000, Adani Group sought over 2,000 hectares of additional forest land towards usage near the town of Mundra. In allowing the same, the state administration invoked the principle of compensatory afforestation, which essentially would mean that the Adani Group would have to provide the state administration an equal amount of land elsewhere towards forestation. This is what took place after that. The compensatory land was earmarked and even taken over by the State Forest Department close to the Circreek area along the Indo Park border in 2007. However, soon after doing so, the red flag was raised by the Chief Conservator of Forests in the state government. He termed that the land provided by Adani was uncultivable and even unreachable, thereby questioning the very basis on which such a land was earmarked by Adani and even accepted by his juniors. This objection by a senior bureaucrat wasn't the only issue plaguing this rather murky an affair. When the Adani group sought some forest land for the expansion of its project, a condition was made that the group will have to compensate the state administration by providing an alternate forest land. Where we are standing right now in the northernmost part of Kutch, I just want to indicate to you that on my right hand side is the landmark called Bibi Kakua. It was said that in the compensatory land which was being provided by the Adanis to the state administration, the land was in the vicinity of Bibi Kakua. And now as we are seeing all around us, there is no forest and a little away, in fact a little further from Bibi Kakua is the sea. Mainly the petition is that the Adani has a diversion of the forest land, so it has to give the other land to the forest tag. So it has to ask the state government to the state government. कि हमें ये फॉरेस्ट के डाइवर्जन के लिए लैंड चाहिए आपके पास ये कानेर और सिनाबर के नॉर्थ के साइड में जो लैंड है वो दीजिए तो उसके हिसाब से स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की पूरी प्रोसीजर हुई उस स्टेट गवर्नमेंट के प्रोसीजर में उन्होंने लैंडमार्क दिया कि ये लैंड कहाँ पे है ये टोटली अनसर्वेड एरिया है यहाँ पर कोई सर्वे नहीं है इस साइड विलेजेस है इस साइड पूरा सी है तो एक लैंडमार्क दिया कि ये बीबी का कुआ है बीबी का कुआ के पास में ये लैंड है उनको दी गई फिर अडानी ने ये डाइवर्ट किया एज अ फॉरेस्ट टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट तो हमें ये पता चला कि ये लैंड एग्जिस्ट ही नहीं करती है और हमें कम कमिटी यहाँ से 20 किलोमीटर दूर एक बसर टापू करके आइलैंड है वहाँ पे लेके गई थी और फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट गुजरात का भी वहाँ पे चला था और बताया कि ये लैंड यहाँ पर एग्जिस्ट करती है जबकि गुजरात गवर्नमेंट के ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट्स में ये बोलता है कि बीबी के कुआ लैंडमार्क है और उसके नॉर्थ में ये लैंड है तो ये टोटली फ्रॉड है आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पे सी है पूरा Headlines today had sent a detailed questionnaire to the Adani group seeking a clarification on this issue as well as the others raised in this telecast. We never heard back from them. So, as we saw, the entire argument about handing over land at the rate of toffees actually harms the Congress as much as it harms the BJP. Thus, the real question that emanates from this situation is can a corporate in the name of development be allowed to walk away with impunity when large sections of the population in a particular region are aggrieved? And can the situation be allowed to remain and build up in a state which claims to be among the better governed states in this country? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.